Hello guys, so we will test Codex by OpenAI to from this instant directory maker that we always use whether we can produce a better output of the directory team that we have using Codex. So first of all, uh, what we need to do is install Codex using our terminal. So it's very simple. What you just need to do is run this, open a terminal just like this and execute this command right here. So just copy that and execute it and hit enter. Now, the first time uh, you will see this prompt right here, whether if you have subscription to ChatGPT, then you can use the option one. Otherwise, you can use the option two and get your API key from OpenAI. So you can just simply go to you, this URL platform that openai.com settings, profile, and then API keys. And you will be able to create your API key. If you added your payment method, then you will be able to acquire that pretty easy. So I'm going to choose the option number two. So when you see right here, when you choose the option two, you will be asked to set the open API key to your own API key. So what I would like to do, because I don't know how to do this. So we can just simply execute this command right here. Let me do that. Let me copy this and I'll add my API key. So that's done. I added my API key using this command right here. So once you did that, we will now be able to start prompting this to our codex. So first, just set up a new WordPress right here. So here, we just set this up yesterday. So let me just quickly do that again from the start. So for those of you who are new and would like to set up local WP in your local. So just search on Google this local WP and this first search result right here. Just download the software and install it in your computer. Now, once you have that, you will be able to create a new site. So let me do that. In this example, the directory that we are going to use is here in Kifa Scraper, we already extracted that yesterday. So we just gonna reuse this Reiki therapist because we have that. So I just scraped 200 listings just for this example. And these 200 listings will be around Australia. So if you want to watch the full video on how we scrape this, it's in the link below. So let me download this. So once you downloaded that, it will be in CSV format. So this one right here, I saved it as XLSX because that's the format we need to upload our listings right here. So we have 200 listings right here. You can check below the full instruction how we did that in the description below. But after you completed this video, because this will be very quick, uh, we will just try Codex to see whether we can produce a better template and cost effective. Now that we have our listings, this prompt right here, I'll just take a copy. And here in the blank notepad, let me populate all these folder configurations here. So the folder name will be just Reiki Codex. So any folder name, uh, make sure it doesn't have space. Site title, uh, so it's the directory related to Reiki Therapist in Australia and custom post key. You're just going to have it as Reiki Therapist. And here we will categorize it by state. And the team name, we just take the same name as the site title. That's going to be our team name. And then the directory Google category. So we just take this Reiki Therapist because that's the directory business category that we scrape. So we just have it as the same name. So country will be Australia. And color palettes, you can let Codex to decide. We can uh, remove these or you can go to coolers. Again, the instruction is in the description below. I have the full step-by-step -step video on how you can grab the color palettes. So just for this example, I'll just remove the color palettes. And if you remove the color palettes here in the line 250 of the team, just remove this instruction because we removed the five hexacode color palette. So there's no reference on that one. That's line 250 of this instruction if you paste that in your notepad. So that's all that we need. So we can grab a copy of this. And here, let's create our Reiki directory site. So let me click on continue. So here, I'll just name it as Reiki Terrafist. Click on continue. So our WordPress site is ready. Once it's ready, don't forget to toggle this so that when you click this, it goes straight to the dashboard without asking you the username and password. Now to start by coding, just click this VS code. So from here, these are the WordPress files that you will need. In your VS code, just open the integrated terminal. So I'm just gonna click new terminal here. And from here we can type codex if you successfully install that and added your API key. So just do that. And here is select the second option. Let's continue using API key. And so this will ask you to allow Codex to work on the specific directory where you open your local WordPress. So just choose the option one. All right. So once you see the screen, we're ready to prompt our instant directory maker prompt right here. So I'm just going to take a copy of this and head back to Codex and paste everything just like that. So you can see here pasted content 9742 characters. So hopefully this will work correctly. Let's go ahead and do this. And guys, as you can see right here, Codex completed our directory. So hopefully everything will work correctly. Now, let me see in the WP content and then go to team. So this is the folder that Codex created. And here in assets folder earlier, we already generated 
a hero section image for this WordPress directory. So let me just save this. Now this is going to be in the PNG format. So let me just drag this right here in order to follow the any convention of our hero section. So I have to rename it as hero that's dash section that PNG. So you can just simply rename it right here, including the function. So just do hero section that BNG, just like that, our image still valid. So I think it works correctly. You need to generate a separate logo as well. But first, let me see if there's no error in this directory right here. We can check to activate the team. So again, you can go to the WP admin, go to appearance, then go to teams. And as you can see, that's going to be our team created by Codex. Let me activate it. So in order for us to see how it's going to look, I need to upload the listings first. But first, we have to install the plugins that we need to complete our directory. So the first plugin is advanced custom fields. So search advanced custom fields. And this first result right here, just install that and activate this. Now you will see if Codex correctly followed our instruction. If we go to ACF, then go to field groups. There you go. We should see the sync available. That is the custom fields we will need in our directory. So we're going to import that. Now the next plugin that we need to install is what we need to upload our listing. So go to add plugin. So you don't have to search this. Just download this plugin in the description below. I'm going to upload this. This is a custom plugin to upload this Excel SX listings that we grab from GFAS Scraper. So let me just browse the plugin. Again, it's available in the description below. So let me install this and then activate the plugin. Once it's activated, go to tools and here to access that. It's this one, Excel SX importer. So let me browse that Reiki.xlsx that we modified earlier and then take upload and parse file and select the Reiki Terrafis custom post type. So here when you load the fields, you don't need to change anything here in the ACF section. Here in the WordPress core fields, just change the content to attributes because that's what we set up in the custom prompt. And the featured image will be the main image. And just scroll all the way down. You will see here, this is how we're going to categorize it. So the parent category will be the region. All right. So select region and here just select states and then the pet children will be cities. All right. And again, select states here and we're ready to import them. Just click on start import. So we just need to wait for a few minutes for this to be completed. We don't need to complete all the 200. Maybe when it reach 50 or 100, we can check how it looks like. But make sure you open it in a new window. Don't close this importer while it's still running. But the progress is 100 out of 200. So let me just open this to a new window. Again, don't close the importer while it's running. So this is how it looks like created by Codex. I'm not sure why the hero section image is not loading. We can check that later. But let me see if the structure has been followed correctly. So these are the browse by state. And these are the popular Reiki therapies around Australia. So it looks decent, nothing special, but still Codex able to follow the instruction correctly. So let's open one of the listings. So this is how the listings look like. So when you add a logo right here, it will be fixed header right here. And this is how it's going to display the info. And let's go to the state level. So this is how it's going to display the cities right here. And let's go to city level. For example, this city right here has two listings. So this is going to display the listing. All right, looks decent. We have the opening hours. So let's check this one with the opening hours. So this is how it's going to display the opening hours. We have the description right here. We have the nearby Reiki therapies in the city and in this state. Looks pretty good. We just need to check why the hero section is not loading. I can check that now. Oh, it's because I added it inside the JS folder. So I'm just going to drive that right there. All right. So this should now load correctly. Not sure why it's not loading. I think there's something wrong with the CSS, which you can easily fix by just quickly prompting Codex right here and tell it that the hero section is not loading, even though the image is already available. So you can do that. All right. But more importantly, the Codex follow the approach of our directory right here, which is pretty good because this prompt right here is quite complex. So only few LLM or models are able to follow this. But if you want the best output, just always use cloud code or cloud in open router using Klein. So if you haven't installed cloud code, you can use that or use Klein right here. AVS code extension and then connect it to open router. So you can do that as well. That's about it, guys. Uh, if you want this same type of content, just keep following. And if you have any questions, leave in a comment. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.